What is going on YouTube? Redgrave TCG here. And today, I'll be making it up to all of you. I'll be opening the second uh, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer exclusive. Elite Trainer exclusive for Chill and Rain. I know I've been slacking off on this one. I was going to open both this and the other Elite Trainer that I initially got. Uh, the first time it was released back in Friday. But let's see. Who, if you of course saw the video, you saw that I had to go... Uh, run some errands on the last second which is perfectly fine i don't mind at all uh, but of course i have to cut the video short even though it was already about over 15 minutes long uh since it was a brand new uh exclusive content or exclusive item i should say a product i wanted to make sure of course i take my time looking at the cards but since we already know for the most part at this point what kind of cards we can get we'll go ahead and get the show on the road uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, let me go ahead and pull this Elite Trainer out of its box. Here we go. So as you probably do recall, there were some manufacturing errors. And uh, manufacturing errors and uh, quality quality control that was really bad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give this another test, another run. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the Pokemon Center exclusives. Because I did buy some... Uh, Elite Trainers on the side down at my local card shop and it looks like the cards were perfectly, f well, not the cards themselves, but uh, some of the stuff in here or inside the cards or not inside the cards, inside the, uh, the player's guide was pretty much good. So let's go ahead and double check on this one and it looks like everything's fine with the quality on this. So I'm definitely not having any issues, which is good. All right, so before I go ahead and get started with the open, let's go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. And of course, hit the notification bell for more upcoming content coming up in the next couple weeks. And uh, of course, more chill and rain. And of course, maybe one day I can go ahead and start getting updates or start giving everyone updates on news. Things that we can go ahead and start speculating together. Coming up uh, with some great ideas too for, for this channel. Of course, not only for Pokemon, for other stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, and uh, Digimon. I know I opened some sports cards too, but that's on the side. And I'm not sure if most of you guys would be interested, so that's why I do it on my own. But looking further into the contents in this box, this time you'll have the blue coin, which is always an excellent addition. And of course, this time, instead of having the purple, well, actually, no, it's the same. We have our purple uh, numbers along the metallic dies. I would drop them, but I don't want to make too much noise right here or mess up my table. And let's go ahead and see what else is inside. So, our standard plastic poison and damage counters. Or markers, I should say. I keep calling them counters. Nobody's been correcting me here on YouTube. If you guys know I'm making a mistake, don't hesitate to go ahead and put me on the spot. I don't mind as long as, of course, we be nice to each other in a way. Um, but, of course, I can definitely take sarcasm. And here we got these dividers, which are going to be blue instead of purple, which is really nice. I believe the shadow one is the one that came with the purples. And let's put this for my PTCGO game later today, which, of course, I started to go back and play a bit more than usual. And, of course, your standard energies. And this time you'll get the blue sleeves, which I think it's pretty cool. I honestly prefer these over the purple ones, not because you would say... Because I see purple is a different color, but more of like, I've always been a blue color person. And don't get me wrong, I will use the purple ones too from time to time, but something about the blue. It's just, I always like this type of dark navy blue. And of course, it's always going to be the matte sleeve, so. Let's go ahead and get cracking with the packs. I'm hoping all of you are having a fantastic week so far. Um, and I'm hoping some of you came back from the previous video, of course, to see... Uh, what kind of pulls I get the rest of the week since I did put off this video on the side or this box on the side but of course with the other one uh, with the other Elite Trainer I picked up from the store I grabbed some fire pulls and of course you can go check that out in my Instagram once again Redgrave TCG and you'll be able to see the pull that I got and for this one we got Cup Full Reverse Hollow and oh nice okay non hollow not a special card but I love me a Galarian Weezing, as if all of you have noticed, uh, especially coming back from Chilling Rains. I'm sorry, uh, why do you keep calling everything Chilling Rains now? I'm going to say uh, Shining Fates. It's been a busy week. Maybe that's why I have a lot of things running through my mind right now. 
uh, of course, as well. So that's one of the reasons why I do stumble upon my words sometimes. Starting off, we got our water, Calaria, Agatha, Flannery, Ghastly, Kufu, Tina, Sabo, Crying by the Waterfall, Bun Sweet, uh, Carbrawler. That's pretty cool. Look at the look at the homies in the back, and we got ourselves a our Golark. Excuse me, Golark. Uh, it looks like this one might have some scratches on it. I don't know what's going on with the quality control. Uh, it, I always I assumed it was just the Pokemon Trainer exclusives, uh, Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs, uh, but it looks like it's coming out the same for the other ones too. I'm not sure if some of you have noticed. The cards themselves feel a little bit more flimsy, a little bit more thinner than usual. But I don't think that I don't think it's that it's thin. I think it's just the quality of the paper they're using this time or the cardboard. And sometimes on the back, it feels a little, I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like if it was been handled by dirty hands, like if it would have been used previously before for battles or whatever, like if it would have been considered a light plate card. Uh, but all of them have been coming out like that, kind of like matted down, not gloss. There you go. It's not glossy as the usual standard cards. And they're a little bit more, once again, flimsy. Feels thin. I don't think they are. At least I hope they're not, but they feel like that. And um, you would notice some of the edges around these. The on, on the previous video, you'll see that they were not cut off properly. There, it wasn't. It's like if they were using an old dull blade to cut the cards, which is pretty bad. And I'll show you a little bit later because I have a stack right here of some of the cards I've already opened. How some of them aren't even when you stack them together like this on top of each other. Normally, I mean, it can happen when you have one or two a little bit off from the, like you know just from the cutting itself. But this time you'll see it a little bit more frequent. And. It's just been putting me off. So we got two trainers, which is good for our for some of you TCG players. You would notice that I'm always going for these trainer cards. So then we got Dina Tree Hill, which is pretty pretty decent. But there we go. All right. So Honeydew would definitely love this card, a Gardevoir, Shining Arcana. Once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Put the other cards in your hand. All right, cool. Brainwave, 60 plus. 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. So you definitely want to use this in the psychic deck. Or at least that's what I would do. That's pretty cool. So, so far we got one full holo. Uh, I'm guessing the rest of the cards. I'm somewhere in here in one of these packs. I'll get a V, a V Max, and I'm hoping for a alternate art. So, let's go ahead and get the... Get this show on the road here. Keep on trucking, as they say. Twanky, Echoing Horn, Seabolt, Sveal, Hatina, Rockruff, Shuppet, Casphorn, Venipede, Reverse, and oh, they're stuck. Is this something good? <gasps> it is. All right, so we already got this one in the previous Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box, a Celebi V. All right, so I can go ahead and get, I wouldn't say get rid of it. I'll just go ahead and probably you know what i think this might become useful at some at some point see leaf light dance uh, attach any number of grass energies from your hand to your pokemon in any way you like slash back switch this pokemon one of your bench pokemon okay it's not bad okay it has a lot of good health too 190 but i don't know if you can see the gloss is not the best and you can see some factory lines going through uh vertically but even worse yeah can all of you see the cutting i'm gonna focus in a bit but if you focus on the cutting at the top and at the bottom, look at that. Just as I mentioned before, it looks like they've been using a dull blade or they haven't been checking the blades lately. But even here too, it's like lifting up from the sides. And even at the bottom, look at that. Quality control down in Nintendo or the factories, I should say, have not been the best at this time. And I can understand why. And it's kind of bad right now how like around the world, right? Um, there's like a not a well i'm guessing it's a shortage in a way uh but there's a it's hard to get items right now especially for different kinds of equipments factory items um i mean computers right now are essentially a little bit more harder to produce um just because of the pandemic did kind of impact some of the stuff there but i'm pretty sure there's other factors outside of the pandemic that also affected you see the production of such items or even then uh you know once again factory uh factory equipment so we got Steel, Kakuna, Flannery, Rugged Helmet, Sveal, Srolix, Galarian Mask, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Cast Form, Regular Form, Kakuna Reverse, and 
Giller and Surfetch. Okay, not bad. Surfetch is pretty, pretty badass. If I do say so myself, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite bird Pokemon. I'm, a bit, I mean, I'm a huge. But some of you OGs who've been here for quite some time already, y'all notice that. Uh, I mean, you get. I mean, all of you would notice that. I've always mentioned that birds are my favorite types. So far, no V, no V Max, or no alternate art. It's perfectly fine. So we'll eventually get there at some point. I'm hoping. Knocking on wood, I don't get. All right, Scolipede. Not bad. Poison Sting, 50. Venoshock, 50, 100 plus. Uh, okay, so if your Pokemon's poison, this attack does 120 more damage. Okay. Okay, I could definitely see this if you played in a very good deck with Poison type or one if you use Poison Sting and of course it does damage to them and of course the Pokemon will automatically become poisoned. And that's where you, uh, these little counters or these little uh, markers will come in handy. You just go ahead and put the green marker on them and you're set to go and just go ahead and uh, stab, a back, stab, stab away at this Pokemon. But it's pretty cool, 100 plus 120 more. So one turn you can use Poison Sting, and the next one you can use Venoshock. It has pretty good health, 160 for not being a V or a V Max. So let's see how that comes into play. I mean, I'll probably test it out myself first time actually seeing that. I haven't done a lot of research on these new cards that just recently came out with Chilling Rain, which means I have a lot of homework to do. All right, there we go, four. Get Dark, Karen's Conviction, Weeding Gloves. Uh, Porygon 2, Snover, your mask, Kalfaring, Shopit, Sorvet showing their butt, and Cast Form, Ready Form, along with Slurpuff. Alright, so I don't see anything good coming up anytime soon. Oh man, last pack, last pack. Come on. Don't let me down. I just love the art though. It's pretty good, come on. Don't let me down. So I saw a lot of people that I know. Uh, back on Instagram, who have pulled some Galarian birds on their uh, in their uh, golden battle boxes, so maybe I should have invested a little bit on that too. Put a little bit more time to get some building battles down on my locals, but unfortunately, I did not do that. But let's go ahead and see if this Ice Rider, I'm sorry, Ice Rider, Calyrex box doesn't does me any justice. So let's go ahead and start with Honey Avery to trainers. Looks like it's very common to have two trainers at first. Lady Van. So, oh, look at this slow folks. Sick chilling. I just had to zoom in because it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Letting the air go through. And then we got Snow Run, Weedle, or probably letting passing some gas. Then we got Kecleon. That's a really cute card and really cute art. Look at that. Rapid Strike. Along with. Uh, okay, Agron. Okay, so we got the third evolution for Aeron. Um, I do have the other two. Aeron and I believe it's Lyron or Lairon, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But overall, this lead trainer, uh, I mean, it's all we got. And one regular hollow, I believe it was uh, a different card. So, would I recommend you buying this lead trainer? Sure, if you're a collector, right? If you're a collector, go ahead and buy yourself a Pokemon Center exclusive, and if you have the funds, by all means, do it. I would say it's pretty funny how a Pokemon Center only provided us with eight packs. I wonder what kind of pulls I would have gotten if I would have got if I would have received ten, and I wonder how many boxes like mine received were short one good pull because of that. If you think about it mathematically speaking, maybe there were supposed to be some good cards in my box, and maybe the box that was produced right after mine got some extra love and received some really decent pulls in there maybe like three good packs or four good packs who knows right uh but i'm hoping that overall everyone else you know once again if you were not able to get this and you feel like uh, you're still debating whether to get it i would say just get the regular elite trainers at this point because it'll just come with eight um and it'll be the same price 40 because pokemon center is refunding us ten dollars anyway so they're essentially charging us for 40 instead of 50 uh for the original and since we're going to get the birds, I'm pretty sure, unless they offer you the birds, maybe go for it. But um, if they don't, I don't think it'll be worth it. It's up to you. Can't make every decision for all of you, right? Overall, I would say I think this is better than the Celebi. I mean, it looks beautiful. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next video. 
Y'all have yourselves a good rest of the week. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Take care of each other. Love each other. Whatever. Whatever it is. Just have some good times halfway through the year. And I can't wait for the holidays. I know I'm saying this too soon. But other than that, y'all catch me on Instagram too. Hit me up. Peace. Regular Vout.